in this class i am going to explain the another unit unit 4 which is an active filters analog multipliers on modulators design and analysis of butler booth active filters and the first order second order LP, lpf that means low pass filters and high pass filters and band pass filters and the band reject filters and all pass filters four quadrant multipliers and a IC one four nine six and the sample and hole circuits. In this unit, we have a filters. The design of the filters using an opias and also analog multipliers and the modulators. So here in this unit, we are going to know about what are the butterfly active filters, or the first order and the second order, and the low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass and the band reject. By using butter with active uh, butter with analysis of these uh, filters, high pass filters, low pass filters, and band pass filters, and all type of filters, and the four quadrant multipliers. This is a uh, uh, multipliers, analog multipliers, and the IC seven four one, IC one four nine six, and the sample and hole circuits. This is very simple uh, unit. Here we are uh, concentrated on low pass filters, and the uh, high pass filters, and band pass filters, and band pass filters. Yes, and we have to analyze these filters by using butter with uh, analysis. So here, uh, but first of all, what is meant by in, in this uh, unit? We have all uh, filters. We have a uh, filter concept: active filters and passive filters. First of all, what is meant by filters? A filter. Fil what is meant by filter? We have to filter the input for attaining a uh, high gain uh, for attaining efficiency in output. We are having the filters. We already know about filters. To filterize the input, to filter the input, we have an electronic filter. An electronic filter is often a frequency selective circuit that passes a specified band of frequencies and blocks or attenuates a signals of frequencies outside this band. Here, the filter is allows only that particular band of frequencies which are required, which 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 are required by ours. So that type of a uh, Bands are only allowed, and the blocks are attenuated, and stops the other filters which enter into that frequency. So it is an filter, uh, simply an electronic filter, so often a frequency selective circuit that passes a specified band of frequencies, and blocks are attenuated uh, the signals of frequencies outside this band. This is a filter. And it allows only uh, certain range of frequencies and uh, stops another band of frequencies which is entered to these uh, premises. So it is called as a filter. So we have uh, classifications of filters based upon uh, we are using the signal based upon type of signal we are using. The classification of filters are classified into analog filters and uh, digital filters. Based upon signal, we are using the filters are classified as analog and digital. What is meant by analog filter? Analog filters are designed to process analog signals. For processing the analog signals, we are using analog filters. For processing the digital, for processing the analog signals, by using digital techniques. Digital filters also we are designed to process the analog signals. By using our digital techniques, so it is called as a digital filters. In our subject, we are using only active filters and for uh, uh, are designed to process analog signals. So here we have uh, types of elements used in filters. What are the elements? That means the components used in our experiment. The filters are again classified as uh, passive filters and the active filters. The components which are required to design the filters are classified according to components which we are used here. Those are two types: passive filters and active filters. What is meant by active filters and what is meant by passive filters here? The elements used in passive filters are resistors, capacitors, and inductors. We already know about the uh, passive components. The passive components are resistors and capacitors and inductors. The filters which we are uh, used to design the analog signals, analog signals. Though in the the elements used in the passive filters are resistors, capacitors, and inductors. Whereas for the active filters, we are using the transistors, op-amp, op-amp in addition to resistors and capacitors. We already know that for the designing of an op-amp, we require for the designing of op-amp. We require transistors from one, two, three units.
states we already know the design of an opia the designing of opia is required transistors uh, capacitors capacitors and resistors resistors the uh, simple resistors that means here we have uh, for the designing of active filters we are using the transistors uh, and opium in addition opium circuit on opium circuit uh, and uh, in addition to some resistors and capacitors here for the designing of opium we are basically uh, depend upon transistors capacitors and resistors so for the designing of filters we are going to use opium circuits for the designing of filters for the designing of filters for the designing of active filters we are going to use opium circuits opium circuits for the designing of opium circuits we are using so in a first from the first week we already know you already know about the designing of an differential amplifier by using the differential amplifier we are going to design the operation amplifier you already know about what are the operations what are the features what are the advantages what are the disadvantages of using the opium a to over applications in the second and third unit in this by using this opium circuit we are going to design the active filters that is our concept in the fourth unit we are using the opium for the designing of an active filters here active filters uses transistors and uh, transistors and also opium circuit for the designing of an active filters so it is called as an active filters whereas in the passive filters we are using the resistors capacitors and inductors here depending upon the operating frequency these filters are again classified into two types they are audio frequency and the radio frequency depending upon the frequency ranges we are going to use the filters are again classified the frequency is again classified into audio frequency and the radio frequency here what is meant by audio frequency what is meant by radio frequency let us know here the audio frequency that means rc filters are commonly used for audio frequency or low frequency operations here low frequency operations are low frequency operations or uh, audio frequency operations that means we are going to use in audio frequency a resistor resistor and capacitors resistors and capacitors whereas in the radio frequency we are going to use the inductors uh, inductors and capacitor filters for designing of an radio frequency the pins high frequency or commonly used for the radio or for the high frequency purpose we are going to use the lc filters or crystal filters crystal filters are the filters which are used to for which are used for the designing of an high frequency applications high frequency in designing of the high frequency for the developing the high frequency operations high frequency applications that means input is high then we are going to use the low power uh, inductor capacitance filters or crystal filters when the frequency is low we are going to use the rc filters so here here advantages of uh, using active filters poor passive filters or gain and frequency adjustment flexibility that means uh, we are uh, we already know in uh, from the third unit the frequency the frequency and a gain relation uh, when pre gain is uh, when frequency is decreases when frequency is decreases the gain will be increases the frequency when frequency increases gain will be decreases that means uh, when the frequency is increases gain will be decreases that means uh, when a frequency is increases our frequency is most important that is when bandwidth is increases it is a good when bandwidth is more it is a good opium for the design of our various applications that means gain will be decreases when frequency increases here we have an advantage of using the active filters or gain and frequency adjustment flexibility that means whenever we are we are uh, want the gain gain will be less when we are increase in the frequency frequency adjustment flexibility is available in the active filters other than using the passive filters opium 
is capable for providing uh, a very high gain and also the input signal is not attenuated as it is in a passive filter. The means op-amp is capable for providing a very high gain when using these uh, active filters it can uh, provide a very high gain and uh, also input signal is not attenuated not attenuated so it is in the uh, other than using the passive filters here there is no loading problem while using the active filters because of high input impedance and the low output impedance present in the op amp does not cause loading of the source or load so here while using the op amp here we are using the high input impedance and the low output impedance by using these high input impedance and the low output impedance of the op amp the circuit is uh, the circuit does not cause loading of the source or the uh, there will be no, no chance of the loading uh, capacity and the uh, for the uh, another problems which are used in the active filters so by using these active filters the gain and frequency adjustment flexibility is more and also there is no uh, problem for loading so here the active filters are offset in the active filters the active filters are offset in the active filters so here has a modern Modern active filters are more economical. The active filters are offset in the whereas the modern active filters are more economical. So here active filters can be realized under a number of uh, class of functions such as butter active filters. Here we are discussing more about an active filters. We are in this uh, fourth unit we are discussing about uh, active filters. Other than passive filters, why? Because active filters are designed by using our transistors, are uh, designed by using transistors, and also uh, by using the uh, opium circuit. Opium circuit consisting of our resistors and the capacitors. So here we already know about the designing of an opium by using the transistors and resistors and small capacitors. So uh, here we don't discuss about the uh, passive filters. Why? Because we are not uh, uh, designing the passive filters with this OPM network. So in this, we have uh, active filters can be arranged under number of, of class functions. We are we have already number of uh, class <coughs> number of class of functions for the designing of an active filters. We have such as the number of class functions, Butterworth function, and the Thomson, and the Chebyshev, and the Kessel, etc. Here we already uh, know about the Butterworth. By using the Butterworth analysis, we are going to design the filters. We are going to design the filters. We are going to design the analysis of an uh, filters. So here, active filters can be realized by using Butterworth, and this. Uh, Thomson and the Chebyshev buzzer etc. These are the functions for the determining the water good filter. In this unit, we are going to design the active filters uh, by using water with analysis. So here, uh, disadvantages of active filters or passive filters are the frequency response. The, uh, the, uh, those are the advantages of using the active filters. Here is the active filters, disadvantages of active filters. What the passive filters are, the frequency response is limited by gain bandwidth product and the slew rate of the opium. So here, the frequency response is limited. That means the frequency is limited by gain. That means the frequency is less when we are using the active filters other than passive filters. And also slew rate of the opium is limited. That means we avoid slew rate as infinity but here, by using the active filters, um, uh, slew rate is uh, less. The high frequency active filters are more expensive than passive filters. When we are using the high fre frequency, high input is uh, very high, then for the high frequency active filters are more economical than passive filters. For the high, high pass filters, high pass filters, the active filters are more economical than passive filters. Also, in this unit, we are going to design the filters 
by using the components uh, transistors, resistors and capacitors. So here in this session, in this uh, unit, I am going to design about an active filters that means low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass filters and band, uh, band uh, reject filters by using buttermilk analysis. So here applications of active filters where we are using the active filters in the radio filters means electronic component which is used for uh, passing that type of that uh, we want that type of bands that range of bands that range of frequency only other frequency other bands are retinated that process is called as filters here active filter is we are going to use the components which are uh, transistors other than uh, opium circuit so it is called as an active filter so note the difference between active filter and passive filter here is the applications of active filters so here first of all filter is used to design uh, uh, only particular bands will be particular band will be band will be where band will be yellow and other will be uh, attenuated and active filters are uh, using the opium and transistors those are the active filters and then we have an uh, low pass uh, filters and a high pass active filters and a band pass filters and a band reject filters so here we are using the active filters for attaining a high gain uh, we are using the active filters for the designing analysis of amp, these active filters are using the butterwood. We have a lot of uh, analysis, lot of class of functions, but here we are going to choose the butterwood analysis for the uh, designing of amp filters, particularly low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filters, and band reject filters. So these filters are used in our applications for filtering the all band passes and all frequencies which we are want the type of bands that only allowed into our network. So here the applications of filters are used where we are using these filters in the radios and in the television and the uh, television, telephone and the space satellite and the biomedical equipments we are going to use these active filters. So most commonly used filters are, you already know about low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass filters and band rigid filters. Those are called as band stop and band elimination and those are called as also notch filters and all pass filters. The low pass filters means which we are allowing only the low, low frequencies, those are low pass filters. High pass filters means high frequency, high range of frequencies are only allowed, those are the high pass filters. Band pass filters means certain bands only allowed, that is the band pass filters. Band reject filter means certain bands of frequencies are rejected, that means band reject filters. Or band stop or band elimination, or it is also called as notch filter. And all pass filter means that uh, uh, all type of uh, frequency bands are allowed, that is called as an all pass filters. So here, I am going to explain what is meant by low pass filters. The pass band allows the frequencies which are in the range of from 0 to FH and the stop band rejects the frequencies that are greater than FH. That means it allows the uh, low pass filter means it allows the frequencies which are from 0 to FH and uh, allows, allows 0 to FH and uh, reject and reject the frequencies that are greater than that are greater than FH. That means 0 to FH only gallows are greater than FH, it will be rigid. So here we have a uh, diagram here. Here we have a gain on the frequency F. Oh, we have a transfer characteristic transfer characteristic between a gain and the frequency. So it is a gain. In this y axis we have a gain. And in the x axis we have the frequency. So here when it allows the frequencies which are in the range from 0 to FH. 
0 to fh. Here it is 0, it is fh. Here fh is the cutoff frequency. From the 0 to fh, it only allows. And from 0 fh uh, to fh to uh, fh greater than fh, it will be not allowed. So here, pass band here represent as pb, that means pass band. Here we represent as sb, that means the stop band here. FH, it allows only the frequency values from 0 to FH and eliminates uh, greater than FH, it is a stop band. So it is a low pass filter, that means it, it allows only the low filter, low frequency bands, that is uh, it allows uh, values from 0 to FH and rejects the greater than FH values. Also here, high pass filters. The reverse operation for the low pass filter is the high pass filter, that means it allows the high frequency bands and rejects the low frequency values. So here the pass band allows the frequencies that are greater than FL and a stop band box the frequencies below FL. So here below FL it rejects and a greater than FL it will allows. That means it has gain and the frequency here we have the frequencies that means 0 to FH it will be rejected. So 0 to FH uh, greater than FL Stop the frequencies below FL. Below FL, here it is FL and here it is 0 and it is F. Here it rejects, it stops the bands which are from 0 to FL and allows only the bands which are greater than FL. That's it. It is here represented as SB and it represents pass band. That means it allows the frequencies which are having uh, from uh, FL to F. So, here 0 to FL, it will reject. So, it is a high pass filter. So, next one is band pass filter. A band pass filter has a pass band between FL and FH, where FH is greater than FL and has two stop bands. That means F is greater than FH and 0 is less than F less than FH. Here, see a pass band. The gain and the frequency, uh, it allows the only the pass bands between FL and FH and it will reject the, it will have the two SBs, stop bands, two SBs here SB and here SBs, it rejects the frequencies which are uh, less than FL, that means which are less than FL, FH is here, FH is less than FL and which are FH is uh, greater than FL and FH is FL is uh, less than FH. So here 0 is F less than FL, it will result, whereas F is greater than FH, it will result. So we have uh, two stop bands, two stop bands, then F is greater than, then F is greater than FH and F is less than FH, it will reject. Whereas here we allow only it allows only the bands which are between FL and FH. That means here PB means a pass band. PB means pass band. SB SB means a stop band. SB means a stop band. Here PB here from FL to FH it will allows whereas FL is less than F is less than FL and F is greater than FH it will rejects. So we have the two stop bands and the one pass band. So here it is about the pass band filter. So next one is band pass band stop filter. It is also called as a band reject or band elimination filter. So here a pass, it, it also called as a notch filter. We have a pass uh, band stop filter has a uh, SB stop band between FL and FH where FH is greater than FL and has a two pass bands that means F is greater than FH and 0 less than F less than FH. It is also called as band digit or band elimination filter or band notch filter. Here SB is here one SB is under two PB. It is, a, it is a reverse operation for the band uh, band uh, band pass filter. Here it is allows the frequencies in between FL to FH and rejects the 0 to FL and uh, F, FL, FH is greater than FL. 
Here we have uh, two FBs, that means uh, two PBs, uh, pass bands, and one stop bands. Here uh, we have observed these. Here we have two PBs, pass bands, uh, that means uh, from F to FL. F is greater than FH, it will pass bands. F is greater than FH, that means here FH, here FH. When F is greater than FH, it will pass bands. And when 0 is less than F less than F. When 0 is less than F, that means N. F is less than FL. When F is less than FL, it will, it will pass the bands. And it has pass, band pass stop has two pass bands. When FL in between FL and FH, in between FL and FH, it will stop the bands, stop the filtering. That means it will allow the frequencies values which are F is greater than FL and F is less than FH. Sorry, F is less than FH and F is greater than FH. Simply see here. See here when when F is greater than FH, it will allow us. When F is less than FH, it will allow us. And in between FH and FL, it will rejects. It is called as unbanded reject, unbanded ignition filter. This is a stop band that means in between FL and FH it will reject. Less than FL, greater than FH it will be past the filter, past the bands, past the frequencies. This is also called as a notch filter. And here, uh, by tomorrow's class, this is about the introduction topic of our fourth unit that is active filters. In tomorrow's class, I am going to explain the filters, low pass filters. High pass filters, band reject filters, and the band pass filter by using the butter with analysis of a uh, band pass filters and band reject filters and the low pass filters and the high pass filters. Thank you.